cooling tower construction and operation. Freshwater demand has skyrocketed over past few years due to the ever-growing human population on the surface of the Earth. This has increased the need for production of electricity to cater for humans' daily routine activities, and that means, more water have to be consumed as water has always been the integral part in operation of electricity generating power plant. In an effort to reduce freshwater wastage in the energy industry, engineers came up with a diligent idea by introducing the cooling tower. The introduction of cooling towers in power plants enables the recycling of water that is converted to superheated steam to drive the turbine, thus, greatly reduces the usage of water. Well, let's take a look at the important parts of the cooling tower. The cooling tower consists of structural wall of cooling tower, drift eliminator, tower packing, hot water nozzle, cold water collecting basin and fan. In industrial scale, the wall of cooling towers is made of concrete to withstand corrosion and shield other internal mechanical parts from any damage. The drift eliminator, meanwhile, entraps water droplets that tend to drift off with the exiting airflow from the tower and channels it to the basin. Drift eliminator is usually constructed from material with high thermal resistance. Tower packing consists of plastic material and provides a large contact surface area between the hot water and air for a more efficient heat removing process. The orientation of tower packing depends on the flow of fluid inside the cooling tower, counter current or cross flow fluid movement. Hot water nozzle aids in spraying the hot water onto the tower packing in the form of small droplets in order to achieve bigger contact area with the incoming air. Collecting basin is placed on the bottom part of the tower to contain cold water droplets from the tower packing and the drift eliminator. Fans are essential to draw air into the tower for water cooling process and the common fans used are propeller fans and centrifugal fans. Now that we have familiarized ourselves with the important parts in cooling tower, let's go in detail on how exactly cooling towers work. Open cooling towers expose the hot water coming from the reactor's condenser directly to the atmosphere. This warm water is pumped to the nozzle by the condenser pump and is sprayed over the tower packing in the cooling tower to increase the contact area, and air passes through the packing. There are some towers that feed the nozzles by gravity, using a water distribution base, most of the heat is removed by evaporation. Large volumes of air flow, induced by the fan, through the heat transfer medium help to increase the rate of evaporation and the cooling capacity of the tower. The cooled water remaining after evaporation drops into the collection basin and is returned to the reactor's condenser. We hope that our video has done its part in educating viewers about industrial cooling towers. 